board members, chairman. Um, I am Catherine Lutz. I'm um, in Spring Garden Township. I'm Ellie Thomas's mom. Um, she asked me last Wednesday uh, to send a video on her behalf. I just wanted to make sure that was received and hopefully watched by everyone here. And then I would like to use the remainder of the time to uh, read the speech that she had read in that video, if that's okay with the board. Do you ever wonder why you feel like it's okay to scream at the person that just cuts you off in traffic? According to Dunbar's number, the maximum amount of people that one human can show empathy for is 150. So that person who cuts you off is not humanized in your brain. In the 2022-2023 school year at Indian Rock, there were five classrooms for the fifth grade students with an average class size of 29, meaning that there were 145 students. Doubling that in one school means that the kids' brains are not able to feel empathy for everyone in their grade, let alone the school. This leads to skyrocketing incidents of bullying and violence. There was a study done in 2018 that compared consolidated schools, mega schools or factory schools, with that of neighborhood schools, like we have here, Valley View, Indian Rock, Yorkshire, East York. Although the district saved money on factory schools with less staff and less transportation, the parents were less likely to participate in these types of events as well. Accountability is lost. It consolidated not only the schools themselves, but the power behind them, which in tune resulted in lower test scores. Larger schools create a void in children's education. It's easy for a child to get lost in the crowd and feel lonely in a mega school. These larger schools tend to rotate teachers quicker as well. They have a faster turnaround as teachers get burnt out. And much like the kids are just a number to the district. In essence, it causes students to feel like they are ripped out of their neighborhoods people that they're used to seeing and being around. Um, they tend to get lost in the shuffle. Those students are more prone to violence if they are lost in the shuffle. Some officials throughout this process have told you that it's financially more efficient to have a consolidated school. They'll tell you that the students won't have to wait as long for services because the specialist isn't traveling among the schools. And they may be correct. However, a study done at Bowling Green, this is a second study now, um, Bowling Green City Schools, shows that the students feel less supported and cared for in, in factory schools. Participation decreases. There are kids left behind and forgotten about. Children thrive in an educational environment where faculty, staff, and fellow students know their names and know who they are. Smaller schools feel like a second family and not a factory or a warehouse. Third example is Harrisburg School District. They consolidated their elementary schools back in 2011. Sounds familiar, huh? Um, it's exactly what we're looking at doing here. And it failed due to the loss of socialization that factory schools produced. It's crucial for social development at the elementary school ages for these kids. That sets the foundation for the rest of the schooling and the rest of their life. Harrisburg School District is now going back to those neighborhood schools next year, and it's gonna cost them $100 million to do so. One pro that people will talk about for consolidation of schools and the increased number of um, extracurricular options for students However, with this particular model, how we're funding it is by the taxpayers. So the money that may have gone towards sports equipment or needed items for extracurricular activities are already earmarked for our taxes. So our kids won't even be able to participate in those extracurriculars anyhow. The data shows that going forward with this intermediate elementary school consolidation results in lower education, damaged mental health, increased violence in the schools, and that lower quality of life for our children is not what we want. And I don't think this is what we want as a community. Those are three different examples. I don't know what examples you guys have been given for the benefits of consolidated schools because we weren't privy to that information as a public. If you have that information, everybody's asking for it. It'd be good to know. I appreciate the time. Thank you for your comment. <laughs>